Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I am going to discuss gauge chart in Power BI. Okay, let's understand what is the use of gauge gauge chart, and then we will create. We will see how to create the gauge chart. So, uh, gauge chart is sometimes referred as a dial chart or speedometer chart. Okay, it, it shows you where you are stands now. What is your current position with respect to your target and Accordingly, it, it, it allows you to view the data. Okay. So we can say that gate charts are designed to provide a quick visual representation of values position. Okay. Even meaning your current value positions. Okay. Relative to the maximum or minimum value like car speedometer. That is what the use of gate chart. Okay. And uh, it can be used for the single matrices. Okay. Monitor the progress, comparative analysis, limited data display. Okay. Uh, just so we cannot use this chart for the multiple categories for single categories meaning it shows okay then space utilization and subjectivity these are the points okay uh, where this chart is helpful let's see how we can create the chart okay so if you go to the power bi visuals okay so here you can see that before the card okay, there is a chart type called gauge chart just click on it it will enable you but before creating this chart let's understand what and all it parameters it requires okay and how to pass the parameter so uh, it, it required first what is your current value then what is your minimum value what is your maximum value and what is your target value accordingly it will shows the data okay you can see that here we don't have anything called legion meaning you won't be able to uh, create the gauge chart for multiple categories at the same time not possible right so only one value with respect to the target we can view so let's see first what is the value okay so let's say i would like to bring my cell somewhat in here in the value okay this is what my this is what the graph but by default it what it does okay it consider your current value as in 50 percent and it shows zero million and 58.72 million, which is the uh, double amount of current sales amount as a maximum value. But yes, what you need to do is you can set the maximum minimum value, go to the column, create the new columns, okay? And set the minimum value, maximum value, and then target value. Okay, it's up to you. It, it depends upon your requirement, what, what value you should consider, you can consider, okay? And yes, now you have to bring those values, okay? If I say mean value, okay, there is something called mean value. If I select this, okay, let me select the visual first. If I say mean value, so just select minimum sales amount here. Okay. So uh, some of sales, uh, some of mean sales is going to work. Okay. But here, if you want to use the value, always use the average value because we have entered the value, which is for all the rows. And if you take the sum of that entire range, it will be a very big number in case of uh, max sales. So if you if I bring this, okay, so you can see that this much value, six T, right, million or uh, trillion. So this is how it changes. I don't want that. Okay, so instead of that, what I will do, I will say uh, average of this, and again I will go and I will say average of this max value. So average is 100 million, it is fine. Okay, this is what the maximum value uh, for the sales. But uh, you may uh, consider the target value also. So there is something called target value. So if target sales, if you bring and if you take the average, okay, this chart behaves properly. Okay, and now this chart shows where you are with respect to your target, where you are currently standing with respect to your target. This is what the use of gauge chart. And if you want to do formattings, okay, you can go to the gauge axis and you can change this, but here everything is set uh, automatically. So mean auto, uh, max auto, target auto. Okay. So uh, because we added the fields there. Okay. If you want to change the color, you can change the color. Okay. I would like to change this color to this one and this color to this one. Okay. 
So accordingly, you can change whatever the colors you wanted to select, you can select. Then data labels, if you want to keep the data labels, you can keep, otherwise you can remove. If you want to keep the uh, target labels, okay, you can keep then call out value, meaning you are the current value, which is reflecting here as a total sales value. So if you want to keep that, you can keep, otherwise you can remove. It's up to you what needs to do. General settings are remain same for all the types of visual. Okay. And you obviously, uh, this title you need to edit. Okay. So here it generated the title automatically, but yes, you need to edit the title. So if you go here and you can edit the title, you will be able to make the changes to the type of this title also. Okay, right. The pro general properties are remain same for all the charts. So I hope you like the, uh, gauge chart creation video. And thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day.